All right, so in the robot cell video we did for the Easy PLC Machine Simulator, we actually showed how to you know build the logic and how to get the logic done with the OPC. Um, we're going to show in this video, and if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch that video before you watch this one. But we're in this video, you notice there was one thing from the last video that we didn't do, which is the actual start and stop. We actually just manually toggle that. So I'm going to show you how to add the start and stop into this actual machine. First, we're going to exit. Then we're going to go over here and I want you to note one key component. We're going to go to uh, make the screen full screen so you can see it in the machines. I want you to notice that every machine has a name. In this instance, we did the 13 uh, is called engine loading right here, right? So we're not going to start the demo or start the, the actual application. What we're going to do is we're going to go to editor and we're going to open up the factory one editor. Okay. Now this is where we're going to edit the actual um, machine and we're going to again get it widescreen again. We're going to go to file, we're going to go to open and then we're going to go down to 13 and then this is machine loading. Alright so we're going to load that in. Now with that said we're going to actually and this is a, a couple key things that I use is I right click and then I that's to change left and right. Okay. I right click and then I use my scroll mouse, uh, scroll on my mouse to go back and forward. All right, so I think it's best if we go on the left hand side of the machine and add this in. So we're going to come over here and add this into the left hand side of the machine. Let's come over here, get the get this stuff as accurate as we can. All right, so let's again use left and right. And if you want to go up a little bit, you go up and then you want to go down you can get to get the platform right get get your atmosphere right and then we'll go over or over here just a little bit more back this up just a little bit now that was good okay so actually let's back this up sorry about that my mouse is a little bit sensitive all right so now we want to add in our switches right so i'm going to show you how to add in our switches we're going to come in and add a button and i like to add my button first and i'll show you why um, I'll basically click this and drag it out here and at this point in time you know you can basically hit that now it basically puts the, the left click and that would enter it now you can move this up and down uh, based upon your keystrokes um, I believe the W let's see you can use actually what I like to do too is just change the middle um, personally you can just change the position uh, if you're not familiar, familiar with the keystrokes that you're currently needing to use then you, what you can do is come over here and just use this and the middle position I believe is what we need to uh, adjust and let's adjust this to one that brings the height up okay and then what we're gonna do here is adjust it a little bit more is we're gonna add the, let's say 0.5 and that gets it a, a pretty good height right there. Now I want you to notice something. Now this added a element called MS button 51. Okay. So if I were to assign this button to an input and this is where you assign your inputs, this right here was where you're going to assign your inputs and assign your, assign your outputs. And then I would, you would easily see it says MS button 51. Well, that's not very, uh, uh, it's not very easy to understand if you were programming the machine, right? You would need something a little bit more descriptive. Now, how would you do that? You would easily change this over here on description. You would change that to start PB. All right. We would change that to start PB. And now we know that this is the start push button. We can also change the label. And let me show you this. Start right here. And then let's drop this down and get a rectangle and that gives us a label. So we, now we have a label, right? So now if we come in here and we go back in here on our inputs, we're gonna assign it to an input that we can use the OPC with. We're gonna use the input and we're gonna do an output as well. We're gonna do output 14. So now you can see that output 14 is our start PB light. Okay, so now we have that in place, right? We have our start button in place and we can do a stop button too um, if you want to. What we can do is drag another one of these. 
So drag another one out here. Make sure you, sometimes it's a little sensitive. So let's click it and let's drag it out here. Drag it out here. And what we're gonna do is change the color to red. And I wanna get the attributes for here. So let's get the attributes. This is, you can easily see this is, uh, a, let's see, uh, negative six uh, dot 60, 69. So let's do that. Let's get this up about the same height, one. And then we'll change this to, let's get these pretty close. What we can do too, is we can change our direction where we're looking at this, change our direction just like this, go in a little bit and change this so that we can see how these are lined up. All right, so you can see this is the, the first button and let me scroll over just a little bit so we can see which button we're actually working on. Okay, so this is the green button and this is the red button. So you can see this is the red button and we wanna get the same dimensions right here, right? So uh, let's put in nine. Okay, so let's get this. This is the negative four dot four nine. So let's come over here. Let's get that negative dot four. So four nine, four nine right here. Okay, so that gets that in the right spot. Let's look at the way that looks right now. And we're still not quite lined up. So let's come over here and line this stuff up a little bit better. And I'm sorry about the my mouse. It is a little sensitive when it comes to this. So let's go right back over here and let's see if we can't get right in front of this stuff. Now again, so we have our bottom over here. We want to get this, let's see, what's the difference? So this one is not in the correct spot. So right here, so here, and the last one is nine. Okay, so now we have this. These are two are lined up. All right, so what we wanna do is put in our stop button. So we're gonna change this as to stop PB. We're gonna put our label as stop, and then we're gonna put a rectangle here, stop, just like that. We're gonna assign the outputs or the input right here to five, and we're gonna sign the output to 14. Oh, I did the wrong one. All right, so we wanna sign the output to 15, and we wanna sign the start button to 14. Okay, so the output on this is 14, and the output on the stop push button is 15. Okay, so that's good, that's all good now. So now we still need the cabinet, right? So we're gonna grab this electrical cabinet over here and we'll put this right here. We'll basically drag this in front. So I wanna come up here and I'm right, I'm left clicking, or I'm right clicking, I'm sorry, to get my actual mouse and I need to get more travel room on my mouse and scroll back. Oh, that's a little bit too far. So let's move this back just a little bit and where it barely makes just like that. Now hit OK. Now let's move over here where and and again we could get this to look a little bit better but let's make sure for one we have everything in the right spot. So let's go over here and let's make sure everything is in the right spot and you can see that these are these buttons are flush with the actual outcome. All right, so this is this is looking good so far, right? So we have a stop stop push button and a start push button. We have the inputs and outputs assigned, but first we need to make sure they work, right? So let's do that. Let's come over here and let's get in front of this as best we can. And what we do is we have a play button. Okay, so we have a, oh, that's a little too close. We have a play button that we can push to make sure these come on. And let's push this and our start button put comes on let's see our stop stop push button comes on okay so we now we have our start stop and start okay so that's a very important tool so make sure you use this to actually play it and actually use that simulation now what we want to do is we want to come over here to the our left hand side and we want to save this 
and then we're going to exit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come back in and redo our driver. All right, so we're going to come back in here and do because we have this in our code already, our start and our stop. All right, so we don't have any any lights for our stop, so let's we can do our a stop light if we want. So let's add that in there and let's change the code. Let's add a stop push button and let's have an output for our stop. And the out push button, let's see, let's call this stop uh, PB on. Real simple. Uh, we just want our billet basically just to to cover the light, right? All right, so we'll say that real quick. And we'll come over here and we're going to go to our machines. We're going to come over here and we're going to start the machine code. Now our start stop push button will be in place. You see that? All right, so we're going to come over here and we're going to basically go and oh, let me get into the ground view here. And let's come over here and let's use this over here and make sure we're here now let's exit this and we're going to go ahead and go do our driver I'm gonna load in an old driver that I used and we're gonna come over here and add this and we're gonna edit this driver so I'm gonna add my start push button and our stop push button for our inputs and outputs I'm gonna configure now I'm gonna add these in here so I do know that I named my PLC code Oh, I pulled the wrong PLC code up. I was doing another training. Uh, so this is a uh, an edit button. So this is uh, we're gonna go to get our start, and our start's called stop, and our stop's called stop. So real quick, we can add the input is start, and the output as stop, and type that in correctly. Okay, so stop. Sorry, my fingers must have been touching the wrong button. So, all right, so we need to add our outputs, which is going to be our start underscore PB underscore on. All right. And then we're going to, so that's there. We're going to add one more. We're going to call this stop PB underscore on. All right, so that's there, and then we're gonna we're gonna basically accept this. Now we're gonna come back in here. Now we have to go ahead and assign these. We can drag these over just like we have before. Um, but if we've we've made the conscious decision earlier to make sure that all this stuff was in proper order when we added it in, so all we really have to do is go to auto assign, and it will auto assign that. So now let's go into our code and let's start the driver. Actually, before we do that, let's save the driver. And we'll save this as robot cell two. We're gonna overwrite that file. That way we have it now. So we still have our old existing one and we knew well, now we have our new one. So make sure you, you hit save and rename it if you would. You can rename it three or two. I named it two and then I hit save. No big deal. You're gonna overwrite a file. Great. So that way we have it later on when we're trying to use it. Now we're gonna start our driver and exit. And then we're going to come in here and make sure our OPC connection is valid. Open up RS Links Enterprise, RS Links uh, Classic, I should say. Go to DDE OPC. And then come over here. Make sure we do have a connection to our robot cell. That's what we named our OPC topic before. We do. And let's go ahead and push the button. Now everything starts. We do have a start push button on. So, and if we stopped it, we do have a stop push button as well. Um, the stop push button, all it does is break the start. So it doesn't, it will finish out where it's at. So if I stopped it right now, it's going to finish out the process. So if I stopped it, it's going to finish out the process. So you see that that actually works and it's going to finish out this process and no more processes will come in. So at this point, you would have seen another engine come out if I would have had it started. So in all efforts, let's see that actual process work because I again when we want to prove this out prove the logic is still working right so we can do this we can shorten this down so you can see that the stop light as long as the start button is not on the state control will not control right so let me hit on okay so now you can see it running and you see the states changing you see the controls changing let's put this up here so you can see the states changing 
and you can see every one of these states I have these program from state um, basically I'm going from 10 20 30 40 50 I believe this goes down to 60 and then 70 so you can see all this is working and all this is is working as it should now another motor will come out at this point in time another motor comes out and another uh, process comes out we can speed this up too if you wanted to have another motor come out before the crate came out we can change our inputs where our inputs are and change this right so you can easily see when to when to get apart you know when to come in here and change a couple of these things so we could speed all this process up but honestly you're not going to get any faster than your crate moving you know how fast your crate moves from point a to point b and we can come up here and actually trip this and get a, a bird's eye view of the way things are but our start 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 and stop push button station is right currently right there on the left hand side we can see that we do have that all that active now I know this was a little bit longer video but I wanted to show you how to use the machine simulator and how to edit the actual uh, current machines you're actually working on because some things you know is best that you do yourself and you add yourself so you kind of get the better feel of, of a customization and the way your machine should be um, and also too uh, adding more controls to it make it more complex challenge yourself right again that's the whole gist of how things should be and let's actually stop right here because you can if you stop and hit the fly button or fly control you can see different angles of how things are working and it just gives you a better pers perspective right again if you ever go into the personal mode then you're gonna have to walk around and use your mouse and use your keys as far as that goes but again I, I kinda like to if I'm getting a bird's eye view I kinda like to use this trip feature because it just gives you a, a better feel to, better feel for it so let's come over here and let's go to right here and let's come into here and let's stop our system so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna exit and let's stop the system we're gonna let it actually and again we just have that stoplight there as soon as we press it it goes off so again the start stop our labels are currently there everything's working it's gonna finish out the process here and then it will finally stop now with all this said hopefully this was a good training to show you how to uh, add different stuff to your uh, current projects now granted this system is always going to be just like this so I would have to go in here and physically remove this actual start or start stop push button station to actually uh, use this so um, what I mean by that is if if I want to have it back to default then I would have to come in here and, and go do that Let's do the trip real quick. Let's do the fly camera and let's get a better view. And come over here. And what I'm going to do is just exit this one. And we'll exit it and just show you how to do that. Again, you could just come over here and go back to editor and load it back in and remove it. So if we wanted to remove it, it's just that simple. Just go back into editor, load in your file, just like that. Come over here, engine, load in the file and then again use your uh, left or use your right click come over here and then you would go left and right and then come over here and use your scroll and then you would just tap on these and delete all the stuff that you don't want it's merely just coming in here picking it right here just like we're doing right now and showing you how to edit that and delete it so if you just if you didn't want to have to push it with your mouse you could easily go over here find it right here and edit the properties over here real simple real easy um, again I'm going to exit it because I kind of like what we have now um, we're going to exit and save and from that uh, hopefully you enjoyed that video and you've seen exactly how to add something to your um, easy PLC machine simulator and again if you are interested in actually purchasing the software email me for a 10% discount again um, there he was kindly enough to allow a 10% discount just email me you I'll give you that information and then you can actually get the actual software so with that said we'll see you guys on the next one